So today we're doing something a little different. I'm getting ready to use a tapping head and I'm going to CNC tap all these M5 holes. I normally do them one at a time with the drill function, but this particular piece has a lot. So this one has, there's 11 parts, two holes each. So there's 44 holes. What we're making is some of these uh, bearing holders here. And so there's two uh, M5 bolts that go through. Two hold the bearing, two hold the holder. The new part, this is actually, I had to redesign the part. So it's gonna be a little bit different than this one. So uh, what we've done here is, I didn't write any fancy scripts. I'm using Mach 3 and uh, Cam Bam for my cam program. Now the tapping head, goes in reverse at twice the speed. So using a standard drill uh, command, the problem is, is your retract is at your rapid speed. So with Mach 3, if you change your feed override, lowering it, it will lower your retract speed. So all I had to do was calculate my RPMs going down and then uh, keep lowering the feed rate because it'll feed at the correct rate. It'll just retract slower. So what we have now is I'm feeding at 17 inches a minute and retracting at 30. So now this is actually the very first time I've done this so I have no idea if it's going to crack off my bit. Now this is a roll tap not a uh, a regular uh, spiral tap so it does not make chips so that's going to be kind of interesting I'm gonna turn the water on I got a basically a drip system I got the water turned up a little more than normal. So this is M5 by 0.8 pitch roll tap. I got a couple of them, hopefully I don't break any. And you have to use a different size drill bit. It's, uh, in this case, the drill bit's a little bit larger. My clearance plane I set to one inch, that's just in case something sticks. Hey, it worked. Now, my tapping head, most of the time you have a special collet that goes in there, one for each diameter shaft of your taps. What I did, this one didn't, I bought this one used, it didn't come with a, uh, with a set of collets and I couldn't find any. So I ended up using a, uh, that's an old drill chuck from like a portable screw gun. And I turned a shaft down and made an adapter piece so it locks in. I need to get my retracts up just a touch faster. This looks like it's working okay. Now one thing I got it set to drill or tap 0.45 inches. I actually want to go half inch all the way through. But if you notice when it goes down and it changes direction, it actually takes a couple extra seconds before it switches direction so the tap keeps going down. So I think they're all going through all the way. I gotta check. Yeah, 
check the one hole and they're going all the way through so we're good Yeah, the one problem with using the drill chuck the adapter, you got a lot of extra length, <clears throat> so your tap ends up wobbling. It hasn't given me problems so far. Now I do have a bigger tap head that I have the collets for, and for anything larger than M5, especially with the roll taps, I have to use it anyhow. I have noticed that the roll tap doesn't pick up the hole quite as easy as a regular tap, which would make sense because it's actually not sharp. All the all the uh, chamfers on it are round. One thing with the tapping head, if you did have bottoming holes, I tested it on holes that I purposely ran it into the bottom. It just ratchets a little bit and sits there, providing that you just don't ram it in there too far. The key to not breaking anything from what I can see is make sure that your RPM feeds the tap a little bit because it can pull, pull down about three quarters of an inch without it bottoming. So you actually have a lot of slop in both directions. So it's a fairly forgiving system I, from what I can see. If your retract is too fast, then you'll pull out your, uh, your tap. You could actually, if you left your quill loose and had a good spring, you could actually make it where that wouldn't happen either. I'm not sure if you really want that. I'd rather have the tap come clean and not break off your tapping head moving from position to position. That's it. That is uh, 44 holes. Thanks, guys.